Hello sports fans and welcome to this week's Democrat Sports Spotlight. I'm Democrat sports reporter Seth Stringer and joining me today is Sean Carrier, head coach of the 10-8-1 Smith Cotton Lady Tigers soccer program. First off, uh, how's life treating you coach? Uh, it's been rough and rocky but we're doing all right. We're doing all right. You, uh, you carry that 37 game win streak and, uh, in the Western Conference into Warrensburg today uh, which will be the last of three games of the season in the league. Uh, 7-0 in league play, y'all have outscored opponents 49-0 uh, in uh, seven shutouts. Uh, if y'all continue that, the, the seniors, the seniors y'all have, Callie Webb, Mariah Alverson, Chelsea Muse, Tanea Smith, and Tiffany Waymeyer will finish 40-0 for their careers. It's quite an accomplishment. I'm sure they're, uh, I'm sure they're, they're talking about that. that. That's pretty cool for them. I, uh, that just shows how strong they, they have been over the last four years. Shift into district play, uh, you know, uh, the only opponent you haven't faced is Washington so far. Right. You have lost, uh, you lost Heartbreaker to Jefferson City by a goal. You lost twice to Rockbridge by a combined three goals. Uh, you tied with Hickman in that 40-minute range-shortened uh, game. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have, I know you have Jefferson City coming up again, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. The district seeding came out yesterday. Uh, Smith Cotton was given the three seed, so that means we'll face Jeff City in the semifinals. Um, you know, does that is that o, is that o three and one record is that troubling to you or is you know what is that a kick in the butt? Definitely troubling, obviously, but um, I still like where our girls are. I still think we're capable of uh, competing for that district title this year. Uh, we played Jeff City very well. We were just unfortunate um, that they scored when we didn't. Uh, we had plenty of opportunity, so. If I could pick, I, you know, I like facing them. Uh, the girls, our team's still going to have to step up and, and play a great game to beat them. They're still a, a good program. It's going to be a tough game for us, but um, I think we'll be up for the challenge. You know, in the regular season, don't you all, you all have Hickman still to play, don't you, again? So playing, you know, it'll be a good barometer to see where the team's at. Obviously, if you do well against Hickman, that could be a good, uh, good, good uh, momentum builder going into districts. Yeah, these final four games, we're trying to uh, definitely build our momentum going into the end of the season, which is what we want to do. Um, we're, <laughs> I think we've been unfortunate in several games this year, uh, but uh, the girls are playing hard. They know what our goals and our expectations are, so they're working hard to get to that. If I remember correctly, y'all outshot Jefferson City something like 27 to nine. So that'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, but uh, in that in that Hickman game, y'all playing them again. In that Hickman game, uh, two two tie. You lost Lauren is on. Uh, you know, in steps Megan Lawless, who's done a great job in that. But how has that changed the dynamics of your offense? Obviously, losing a, a good goal goal, goal scorer and Megan Lawless, who had a couple of hat tricks this year. I mean, uh, it's got to be tough on the offense. Well, it's definitely uh, we've. Definitely tough on the offense, but um, we definitely have more than enough players that can step up into that role and contribute offensively. Uh, we've had a lot of obstacles to overcome this year, and the girls have uh, done a good job to this point. Uh, we'll hope, hopefully, that will continue on into the district play. You know, we talked about the seniors earlier. I'm sure they want to go out on top. Uh, obviously, two straight district titles would mean a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they don't even. They probably don't want to end there. They, they probably want to take this, take this uh, ride as far as they can. Yeah, um, with last year being our first time, uh, we were disappointed coming away from our sectional game last year. So, uh, if we're able to win that district title this year, I, we do plan on going a lot further this year. Um, it stung last year, but so they want some revenge, definitely. Well, it's going to be a fun ride, and we look, we look forward to seeing how the team uh, does in districts and, and how they do at the end of uh, West Central Conference play. Thanks, Coach. I'm getting excited as well. Uh, we've worked all season for the end of the year, so hopefully we can keep that going. Well, hopefully we'll see a game today. I know the weather's not great, but uh, hey. I'd like to get it in.